Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons. Today I have prepared one question for you and four answers to choose from. As usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the question, choose your correct answer. When you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the question, which of the following statements is true? Statement A. Specific ABO blood types are known to be linked with increased or decreased acceptability to particular diseases. And this is true statement. In different nations we can find different frequencies of the uh, blood groups because uh, different acceptability of the blood groups or people with certain blood groups to certain diseases that uh, prevailing in these areas and different uh, geographic areas has different uh, for example temperatures and that why they have different diseases so this also affect uh, occurrence or frequency of the blood groups in certain areas and uh, statement b Antibodies to alien antigens in the ABO uh, group may be present in one's body prior to the first contact with blood of the different ABO type. And here is example. Imagine that this is red blood cell, red blood cell A. And on the surface of the red blood cell A we have antigens A. And in the serum of this uh, blood group we have antibodies B and if we consider red blood cell of the B type here on the surface we would have uh, antigens B and in the blood serum we would see uh, antibodies A And for example, in blood group O, we can find antigens O, and this is a surface protein, and in the serum we would find both antibodies A and B. So as you see, uh, our blood depending on the type already have antibodies to other um, antigens of the different blood group so you cannot find um, antibodies here for the antigen A or such antibody just would destroy open uh, red blood cells and here in the blood group B in the serum you wouldn't find uh, antibodies B for the same reason and uh, in blood group O there is no antigens A and B on the surface of the red blood cell so that's why we can find here both antibodies A and B present so this is true statement we have uh, antibodies even without uh, um, being exposed to different blood group so um, statement C when our blood comes in contact with blood of the different type our bodies can develop long term term immunity to the alien blood type and this is true um, our organism defends itself by uh, mechanism of recognizing foreign proteins in the form of antigens and protect our body by producing antibodies so uh, when we first time exposed to certain foreign proteins we develop long time memory and when we second time exposed to the same foreign uh, antigens our body react faster and more efficient and this is uh, the main reason for vaccination so first we get uh, whether just surface protein 
or attenuated virus and we develop uh, our protection and uh, our immune system develops long-term memory and when we'll get uh, live virus uh, reaction of our bodies would be much faster and we would be able to kill foreign uh, proteins and thus virus much more faster and more efficient so uh, answer C also true and that means that all of the above uh, statements are correct and we have to choose answer D and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye